Hey everyone, Sean Marshall in the house. It's Wednesday night, so we're on day four of the series. And I want to share a couple things with you from today. Pinpointed questions about today's interviews. Reed, who is the man, he's the man with the nutrition plan, and Kimberly. So here, here's my questions, all right? And I'm going to share something that was on my mind. We talked a lot about integrity, integrity with yourself today. And one of the baseline conversations underneath what Reed and I talked about, and when you're talking about health, you know, your health, personal integrity is the context. And so the question is, um, it's a specific question about health, you know, are you in integrity with your health right now? It's not wrong or right if you are or aren't. It's just a question. Um, and then, are you in integrity? Shifting over to Kimberly, Kimberly's conversation. Are you in integrity with your truth? Are you in integrity with your truth? Are you speaking up? Are you speaking up for yourself? Are you owning your truth? Are you putting words to what you really think um, and what you really want? So it's two powerful questions. So I want you to, not that I want you to, it's not that I need you to do anything, but those are two opportunities for you to just sum up your day and consider as you're, as you're thinking about stepping into what's next for you. And so my next question, this is what was on my mind. Would you bet on yourself? Would you put all the chips that you have? Chips meaning that's a term from, you know, playing at a casino, playing cards or poker or something like that. So would you put the chips on the table? Would you bet on yourself? Would you bet on the calling that you're having to step into next? And that looks different for everybody, I get that. Some of you are already business owners and you have decisions to make, big decisions inside of your business, whether you realize that or not. Some of you do realize that. And some of you are looking to just make this big, huge shift over to your purpose. And so the question is, are you ready to bet on yourself? Are you ready to go all in on that intuitive feeling, hit, voice, conversation that you have been having inside? And it's just information, however you answer that question. You know, if you're like, oh man, bet on me? I don't know. What about this and what about that and what if this and what if that? Uh, or you're like, yeah, fuck yeah, I'll bet on myself. It's a fun question, and I say that it's information because however you answer that is information. And you get to know where you stand with trusting yourself and trusting what your internal self or your higher self or however you want to frame it. Let me just show you this bridge real quick. It's such a cool bridge. I want to get hit by a biker. It's kind of a sketchy area where I'm at, to be honest. Woo! Isn't that cool? Shoot. <sighs> homeless folks hang out. <laughs> Speaking of homeless folks, gotta watch my back around here. Um, so, would you bet on yourself? So, let me share a couple. Let me share a little something. Just about myself. You know, I bet on myself. I've gone all in betting on myself several times. Big, massive bets where I bet it all. <laughs> Family. I used to come out here as a kid, actually, and ride bikes. It was fun to see these little kids who are like seven-year-old kids on a bike with their dad. Okay. 
I'm just taking you for a walk with me, so I'm just chatting and landing a message and also just being kind of free flowy here. But I bet on myself in in 2007, I had already started a business. I had a, a business I was making, um, I was netting well over six figures a year, over 100,000 netting, meaning that's what I was taking home after paying expenses and all that stuff. And I was a college student at that time. So I was an idiot, <laughs> you know? And I realized a few years down the road that I wasn't, I wasn't living my purpose. I wasn't, it, it wasn't even close. In fact, I was being not a good person in the world. And when I realized it, I took a personal development course, I worked with a coach, and I realized what I just said, just said to you, you know, to make a long story short. And you know what I did? On Sunday, the course ended on Sunday, and on Monday, <laughs> I, uh, I sold my share of the business. I had a partner. Next day, sold it. I went all fucking in. On me, I bet on myself. And I didn't have a plan. You know, I didn't know what was next at all. I had zero clue. At least I wasn't present to what the clue was. I did internally know, but I wasn't present to it in that moment. Not even a little bit. But I knew that I wasn't doing what I was meant to do. And it ripped me apart. Absolutely ripped me apart. Couldn't do it anymore. I walked away from that lifestyle. I know it's a loaded way to say it. Um, conversation for another day. And I said, I'm going to figure it out. But this just isn't the life I want to live. So I bet on myself. And you know what? I had property. I had a mortgage. I was uh, very centered around materialistic things. I had... <laughs> this is silly. I had seven cars at the time. You know? Because those were the things that I really valued at the time. And I got rid of them all. Just vroom, got rid of them. I had Impalas. I had a Nova. Classic cars worth all this money. And I, I had a show car. I like gave it all away. Literally. Because I didn't care about it anymore. I just didn't care about the money and what all that represented. It was all ego. So I took off to Peru. Hung out in Peru for six weeks. And I asked myself a question every day. What do you want? What do you want? And it took me a month of that. Of ignoring it. I said, what do you want? And this answer came up. And I said, that's not it. Next day, that's not it. Same answer every day. And I ignored it. I was terrified of it. And I finally surrendered at Machu Picchu. That was one of the first times that I really got spiritually connected. If you've ever been to Machu Picchu, you probably know what I'm talking about. I surrendered. I was like, all right, that's what I'm going to do. And I came back to San Diego and I went all in on myself again, bet on myself, started all over and went in to what I was being called to go into. And I rebuilt the income, but it took a while. You know, I was texting with someone today and I was saying, look, you don't have money. I get it. Uh, there was a point in my, in that transition where I was buying dinners and lunches at the dollar store. Literally. <laughs> I was buying, you know, $1 enchiladas at the dollar store because that's all I could afford. And that was even a stretch. And I made $10,000 that first year. $10,000 in San Diego when you have property and you had a lifestyle of well over six figures. That's a, that's a different position, <laughs> right? So I bet on myself though. I've always had the confidence uh, to bet on myself. I know that I'm going to be okay. I know that. I know. And it's not a knowing that just in the future I'm going to be okay. I'm okay right now. Even if I'm going through a difficult time, right? Because that happens. 
I always know underneath it, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay, and I'm going to be okay. Things are going to work out. And they did, they do. And it's not, it's also not an ending point. Because I bet on myself again last year. I'm gonna cut this here and not tell the next phase of this, but I bet on myself and took my business online and uh, in a matter of three weeks sold everything I owned and bounced away from San Diego, the city I love, still love. It's great to leave a city on a high note, by the way. And I just, I wanted to go on this adventure. So now I'm on it, you know? Almost 11 months in a new city and I'm still uh, open to going someplace else. Costa Rica has been calling me, so I'm going there in July for a few weeks to go check it out. And I started a new business. I went on, I bet on myself again. And when I bet on myself, I go all in, all chips in. So, and that's just how I operate. Doesn't mean that you operate that way. Doesn't mean you have to operate that way. It just is a question of, are you ready to bet on yourself yet? And if you're not, then let that be your beacon. Let it be your beacon. Ask yourself that question every day. The one I ask myself, what do you want? And am I willing to bet on myself today? Am I willing, willing to bet everything on myself today? Am I willing to go all in on myself today? And just listen to the answer and be honest about the answer. It may be no. Just like when I said, what do you want? The answer came and I was like, nope. I was terrified of it. I didn't have confidence in myself to do that thing. So, but ask yourself that every day. It's a way to check in with yourself and you have a beacon. When you're able to say with all your heart and soul, I'm willing to bet on myself today. Whew, I got full body chills thinking about that. Cause that's the day you're gonna bet on yourself and you're gonna go all in and things are gonna shift in the way that uh, they're meant to be because you're you're here to do something beautiful and amazing and um, so there you go I still get to share my story with you all I said last night or yeah last night that I was gonna share my story with you about why I'm doing this series I'll do that in another video again because that's another 10 minutes so shoot me a reply let me know what you're up to. Let me know what you're learning. Introduce yourself. I've reached out to everyone so far who put a phone number in when you registered. So I made progress on that today. And I've got about probably 30 people that I don't have a phone number for that I, that I get to send an email to. But look, don't wait for me to introduce myself to you. Introduce yourself to me. That's actually me sending you a text message and sending you a personal email. So drop me a line back. There's a reason that you're here. There's a reason that you and I and the experts are right here right now together talking about life purpose, sharing our stories, contemplating what's next. So, you know, don't isolate yourself and, and don't be a spectator. Life isn't a spectator sport. You know, jump in. I don't care what experience you've had from other experts or influencers or courses or coaches that you've taken. Those of you that have been engaging with me, you're learning that I give a fuck and I want to know who you are and what you're up to. And I can't wait to share why I'm doing this series with you because you're going to get it. So have a great night. Tomorrow... Last thing I'll say, Marcy Newman's interview is coming out tomorrow, and holy sh! it's a great, great conversation that we had. So, it's just one interview tomorrow. Get present. If you don't know Marcy, I'm excited for you to meet Marcy. Marcy is phenomenal. So, one interview tomorrow, it's about an hour. Take some notes, get present, listen to her message, and you're going to have a shift tomorrow. I'm setting that intention for you. You're going to wake up 
You're gonna watch the interview tomorrow and you're gonna have a shift, whatever that is, because none of us are done. I talked to someone who said, I'm not sure I'm gonna get anything out of this interview series because I'm already there. And I'm like, dude, if you were already there, you would die. Then you wouldn't have any more work to do. That's when we're there. So I don't care how successful you are. There's a next cut for you, for all of us. There's a next cut. So tune in tomorrow, get present, and can't wait to share this message with you. Have a good night, y'all.